Who's ready to drink? Hey, it's Lo, and we are back for another episode of Quarantini of the Week. Um, today, we're going to make an espresso martini, one of my favorite martinis, actually, because sometimes you just need, like, a little pick-me-up, but you don't want to go to sleep, right? So you uh, get yourself a little espresso martini, and it's very delicious. Also, don't mind my hair. It's wash day, <laughs> and my bangs are getting really long. I'm too scared to cut them myself. So again, you're gonna need a few ingredients. Um, number one, vodka. Going with Tito's again, well, because I like Tito's. And uh, no, this is not sponsored, but it can be. <coughs> then you've got a coffee liqueur. I'm gonna go with Kahlua today. And of course, some espresso. I, I had to go to Starbucks because I don't have an espresso maker. Um, but if you have one, even better. Um, just a little tip for you, let it cool because it'll keep the flavor going rather than diluting everything when it's hot. Um, so we're gonna take our shaker, there's some ice in here already, and we're gonna do an ounce and a half of vodka again. But again, it's been a long week, so we're gonna go two ounces of vodka. Ooh, this is hard to open. Ah, half ounce of Kahlua, and then about a shot of espresso. Top on your shaker. Martini glass, strain into the martini glass. Ooh, frothy. And there it is, espresso martini. Cheers. I have my certified taste, ma taste maker, taste tester. Ooh, that's killer. <laughs> Call it the Carol Baskin. No! <laughs> mm. Go away. This is mine. <laughs> <laughs>